out of Denver 7's Colette Bordelon, who joins us live outside of the Arvada Police Department. Colette, people have been going there all day to pay their respects. All day since early this morning, Officer Dylan Vakoff had been with the Arvada Police Department for around three years. He was training to become a SWAT officer. Before that, he served as a staff sergeant in the Air Force, and he graduated from Ralston Valley High School. I talked with a woman who went through elementary, middle, and high school with Vakoff. What she remembers most, above all else, is his kindness. Oh God, not again. Again, Arvada is grieving. So young. He's young enough to be my, my son. Grieving a man who set an example. He was a great man and he did a lot for us. Paisley Vincent is only nine and brought a single rose, now lost in a sea of flowers. Why would they do that? Because he didn't do anything to deserve that. One of many people who came to pay their respects. He was always so kind to everyone. Still sees the boy who became Officer Dylan Michael Vakoff. Not much has changed, still very kind eyes. Yeah. Flipping through her middle school yearbook. Gosh, it's just, you look back and you don't realize the memories and what they will mean to you. Hasn't changed much, maybe a little less gel. <laughs> <laughs> All of the stories come rushing back to Shauna Jantz. When the strangest, most devastating things happened in our lives, he always found a way to look at the bright side. And I think that's what he would want us to do here. From serving in the Air Force to joining the Arvada Police Department in 2019. Gosh, Dylan, we're just so proud of you. Um, you're such an example to this community. Seeing how far he came is what she chooses to remember. It sets a precedent of the kind of nobility and honor that I hope comes from this upcoming generation as well. And when we asked what this young girl wants to be when she grows up. A cop. The answer is something Jantz calls a testament to who Officer Vakoff was. To see that a little girl was so inspired. She wasn't afraid. This devastation, this atrocity, this evil didn't make her back down. It made her want to fight for the good. And that reminds me so much of Dylan. Still able to picture the way he would smile. I hope he's happy wherever he is. If he could see the example he set. The Arvada Police Department says Officer Vakoff's sacrifice and service will never be forgotten. They also released a link where donations can be given. That link can be found on Denver7.com. Live from Arvada, Colette Bordel on Denver 7.